let's learn how to create this crazy sports poster design in Adobe Photoshop. Commitment edits have grown in popularity in the past couple of years, and this commitment design can be used for any sport. This Photoshop tutorial is created for you to walk through the design process with me step by step. So please feel free to pause the video and rewind as needed. All right, let's first create the drip in the background. If you go to Google Images and search dripping effect, you can find this exact image that I'm using. Now let's drag and drop the drip into our canvas. Let's cut out this checkered background. You can do this by hitting the quick selection tool on the left hand side and press select subject. This creates a rough outline of your subject. If Photoshop has missed parts of your subject, press the plus sign and click on the areas that aren't selected. After you've done that, you'll hit this mask button in the bottom right hand corner and this will remove the background from your image. For this graphic, I personally decided to duplicate the drip by hitting Command J and then resizing it to fit the canvas. We next can add our arena and make it black and white. You can do this by going up to image adjustments and then clicking black and white. On the right side of your screen, you can see some adjustments that were made and I did this to make the background look a little bit darker. You can do this by going up to filter and hitting camera raw filter. While we're in camera raw filter, let's turn down our exposure and increase our contrast. What contrast does is it makes your darks darker and your whites whiter. If we increase the shadows, it also makes it a, a touch darker, which is what we're kind of looking for. And a personal preference of mine is to add a little bit of clarity to make the overall image look a little bit sharper. Dehaze will make your grays brighter, but the goal for this background is to make everything darker. And the last thing that we should do is add a vignette, which creates a dark shadow around the exterior portion of the image. We're next gonna learn how to change our drip to this purple color that you guys see. All right, the first thing you'll do is you'll click the new adjustment button on the bottom right hand corner, scroll up to hue and saturation. Once you're in hue and saturation, you wanna create a clipping mask by hitting this button right here above the layers panel. After you hit colorize, you can adjust the saturation as well as the lightness to give you a different color shade for the background layer. If you take a look at the right side of your screen, you can see the background drip has a gold texture clip to it and it looks a lot better. Make sure your gold layer is above the drip PNG. Once you have this, you can control click on the layer and create a clipping mask. We next want to add shading to our background layer. First create a new layer by hitting this button right here. Drag that layer to just above the arena layer and then select your paintbrush on the left hand side. Make sure you're at a hardness of zero and that our black is the paint color selected. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to click and paint on black shadows all around the outside here. Now add another layer and now it's time to create some text. Highlight your text and go up to window and scroll down to character. If you make this number here smaller, it decreases the space between your letters. If you make it larger, it increases the space between the letters. So for this graphic, I personally use 10 because I thought it looked the best. Now select your layer and hit this color box right here to change the color of our text. With your text still selected, hit the effects button on the bottom right hand corner and let's add a drop shadow. The other thing I added was a bevel. And really you can mess around with any of these effects on the left hand side, but I personally used these particular effects to make it pop a little bit. This is the before and here's the after. I did the same process for the bottom text, but I wanted to add a glow to the outside lettering. So let me show you how I did that. If you create a drop shadow, just increase your size of that drop shadow and add an outer glow and you'll get this same glow effect that I have in this design. I decided to use a different font for the text. I used Gotham and for the coming home text, I used Dharma Gothic and both of these texts will be linked for subscribers in the description. I love creating new text because it's a big part of any graphic design. So let's head back into our effects panel and add a stroke to the outside of our text. 
Next, let's finish it off with just a drop shadow. And we're gonna just adjust our opacity just a little bit. Now click on your text layer and change it to whatever color you want. If you wanna add some textures to the text itself, you can insert any texture right above your text and then control click, create a clipping mask. And now what you can do is test different blend modes to see what type of design it makes for your text. Next, let's click and drag our player into the commitment graphic. I've already showed you guys how to cut out a player from an image. So I'm just gonna fast forward through that part. This next part is really, really important. We want our player to have a little bit of a pink tint to him. And I'm gonna show you how to create this effect. So let's take our player into camera raw filter and make a couple adjustments. Let's add a slight pink tint to it. And I also decided to decrease dehaze and make my regular adjustments to texture as well as clarity. Some other adjustments that aren't needed but I decided to do were hue and saturation as well as grain. This is the before and here's the after. The next part is all about creativity and having the right overlays. For me, I took different smoke PNGs as well as a rain overlay and some grunge and I put them on different blend modes to see what they look like inside my graphic. I can't tell you one way or another what it's gonna look like or what to put where, but you can always pause the video and copy exactly what I put where, but it's just important to erase any parts of the PNG that don't fit your graphic. Now, my favorite part of this design is this chain and lightning in the background. To me, this gives it something different than any other graphic. I saw this from one of the main editors on Instagram and it stood out to me, so I wanted to show you guys how it's done. Obviously, first you're gonna have to add your chain in the background. And then we're going to search for a lightning bolt that has a dark black background. We then can go and change the blend mode to screen so the lightning bolt sticks out. For the final and most important part of this graphic, let's learn how to create this glowy poster look for our design. The first thing I have here is a color lookup. You can add a color lookup by hitting new adjustment layer and then finding color lookup. Once you're in color lookup, you can scroll till you find the color lookup film stock 50. You can always decrease the opacity of the color lookup to your liking. The last adjustment that we're gonna make is adding a black and white gradient. You can do this by hitting that same adjustment button and then finding gradient map. You can now switch your blend mode to lighten and if your gradient map is set to a different color, like mine's blue right now, you can just switch it to black. And once you've done that, you've got yourself a fire commitment edit. If you have any questions about the video, or thought that this video helped you, please feel free to drop a like for me. It helps the channel grow and it shows me I should continue making videos for you all to learn from. As always, stay great and have a good one.